Hi there, and welcome to Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. You are listening to Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. Um, before I go too far ahead, I'd really like if you could help do me a favor. Please subscribe to us on this platform. Help us grow the platform. We really appreciate your support. How do you do that? Let's go through that process. Subscribe to Citizen AY. Hit the notification button, and of course, give us a thumbs up and help us reach more people. We are grateful for your support. We'd like you to continue to support us. We welcome super chats. We welcome gifts. We welcome donations. We have the account, bank account going across the screen. There is a lot of work we're trying to do. We want to translate uh, with your help and give to communities um, and, 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 and empower the communities to know their rights in their local language through um, the, um, um, the appointment of stakeholders, um, you know, within the community that will be actually be going to communities and translate the constitution into local languages to help people, uh, you know, know their rights and actually explain to them how they can use it to hold their governance to account. So, um, like I said, so we are welcome. We'd like you to subscribe to us. Um, today being the 29th of July, um, Ojo uh, Obatala, which is the first day of the Yoruba week as ever, you know, we do that. It's on my screen there. You can see it. And we always display that. And of course, you're watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. Truth to power. Now, here we go. So, we are just talking about what's going on here. You can see on the right, um, um, Ayo Fayoshi, the former Ikiti governor, is um, sort of trying to prevent the people from actually exercising their, their sovereign right as uh, citizens to um, hold a peaceful protest. Um, enshrined in law under Section 39 and Section 40 of the Nigerian Constitution. Uh, speaking of which, give me one sec. So as I stated before, I don't like to sort of just come and make wild statements. I need you to have this information. Section 39, and when you get this broadcast, please do share it. Every person shall be entitled to freedom of expression, including freedom to hold and impart um, ideas and information without interference. Okay? So you have that right. You have the right. Section 40 then goes on to say, every person shall be entitled to assemble freely as he with other persons, and in particular, uh, he may form or believe or belong to any political party, trade union, or any other association for the protection of his interests. But I need to add that Section 39 is a far more powerful one. Um, you don't have to mention, uh, you're not, you, you don't have to uh, mention that you're um, part of any um, protest. You are exercising your right as a sovereign in your nation and actually communicating your the, your needs and your your concerns to your government via a peaceful protest you're not part of any organization you don't have to be part of any organization you have that right as you can see on in the constitution nothing to do with any organization any, any not part, not the one organizing anything you are there simply exercising your right as a citizen in a peaceful manner. So you got section 39 and section 40 right there. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll up. I need to bring you another section that I want you to be aware of. Sorry. Okay, we will come back to this one again. But let me go to, I want to quickly go to section 14.2a. Since I am on the screen now, it makes better sense for you to see that. In conjunction with um 39 and 40. 39 is the more powerful but there is another section that will that will copy that catch this up that is even more powerful because it's a court judgment and i'll talk to you through that but let's go to 14 to a so that you know these powers and i want you to share it in your communities um, very important i'll try and see if i can do it in yoruba as well 14 to a is coming right up and this is it here so here's 14 to a it says sovereignty 14 to a is hereby accordingly declared that sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom the government, through this constitution, derives all its powers and authority. That is you. You are a sovereign. You have authority. You have power. How you exercise that sovereignty is coming together in the community, ensuring you have a local community association where you can now assess the feelings of the infrastructure, pinpoint it, and assess it, and then call a town hall meeting. And at the meeting, you reiterate this section 14.2a, to your local general chairman, state house of assembly member, your house of reps, your senators, and your governor. It is your right to hold them accountable. 
because they are there to serve you because they say it's important to a sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom the government through this constitution derives all its powers and authority very much um, a point that we are reiterating strongly here so we want you to know that and furthermore there is another section I want you to know of 14 to C of course the participation by the people in the government shall be ensured in accordance with the provisions of this constitution again that the fact that you're sovereign and it's enshrined in the constitution now gives you the right to participate in your government but how do you participate you participate by first questioning your government through the monthly town halls which have to tell you how much is the the, the, uh, the constituency but um, the project how much was the budget on it who are the contractors how much has been spent so far how much is left and when is the, the completion date so you can always and you you expect the the you want you give the um, the the relevant um, politician or uh, elected official um, the notice of the date when they are going to come back to inform the entire community. Um, it's important to say that when you have the independent community and com local community association, that you all meet up collectively. Never exercise sovereignty on your own. It has to be the entire community, majority of the community coming in and then participating in the process of governance by questioning your government and reminding them that they have the powers. They are there to serve you. The government derives powers to run the nation from you and I who are sovereigns. It's in black and white. You can see it there. So that's what I wanted to really highlight in this particular section. Let me go to the Yoruba section of it. Section 14.2a in Yoruba, I think. Give me one sec. One sec. So... The section 14.2 and 14.2 that I read to you, 14.2 that I read to you is in Yoruba language also, which I'm going to read to you now. 14.2, Ebala Keren Lai Sekej, you will see it come up shortly, and I'll read that to you as well to buttress the point that you have the power to hold the government to account. So section 14.2 is states like this. Uh, it says here, me in Yoruba, Otiwa, Otiwa, Diba, Igegebi, Ikedekwe, Ijoba jete ya mwenye Nigeria. Lati ojo yinji, Ijoba nekwa she osin yi unja gugwa gwala ati a shere. Um, le kwa ki maka. Uh, ijoba abala ken la sekeji a. Ijoba jete ya mwenye Nigeria. Lati ojo yinji, Ijoba nekwa she osin yi unja gugwa gugwa gwala ati a shere. So to be done, e unle ni a shi a shi a gwala o. Then it means kasa la kasa la. So I'm saying it in Yoruba for people to know that section 14.2. And 14.2 says says, States. Let me read that again. I want to do that. Oh, you can't. Yeah, I can. Okay. So there consume more fake came more fake came more came more to him. Telling got to you more fig loose away. My fancy. I share to any new or not go be a local rental. A job a balak and less a kid. A job a jet and one in Nigeria. Last year, when it's your money, but she or sing will leave you in the book of God at your share. So to be done. Any any a share at your body. I bought a cage, you say, Wani, or no, my kiss on you. Any kid, you won't kiss on you. And one queen, and he copa, a balak and less a cage, you see, he copa, and when you are near your bound body, that you need, and so you are one, you can say to you, we may be. So then, so, so you know, on fee on your queen, then you are share at your brother. A man or job, I won't fake him up when he are share at your brother. I want to say my diet, they want to create to fear in you so that you're not actually going to exercise your right as a sovereign to hold the governor to account. And we're here to encourage you that you can have a peaceful protest and you can get encourage the government to ensure that they give account of the funds that you have placed in their hands as the custodian of your of the funds of the collective community to do the infrastructure um, um, lack of deficiencies to deal with it to come to, to solve the infrastructure deficiencies and they must answer you because you're a sovereign you're a sovereign of nigeria and collectively your community you have the power to hold them to account to question them and to demand for answers from them so so that's 14 to see let's go to uh 39 i don't know if i've got it i'm going to try 39 in Kotimo Kamekon. I'm going to try the section 39 in in this language and then we're going to go and do that to again is to, to exp demonstrate that we have the right to peaceful protest. So that's what I'm that's why I'm doing that. So give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, section 39 goes like this. Olukuluku enyo bodo ni Olukuluku enyo bodo ni eto si o minera oya to so pelu o minera lati bi awon ere ati lati gba ati ti fun awon emoran 
at Alaye, like see Kikolu, that's section 39. That is again, it's talking about the freedom to uh, partake in part and share ideas uh, without any fear of um, persecution or anything. Um, that is in that section 39, but I'm doing it in Yoruba. And the section 40, any call colonial to Lati Ko Kora Joko, Neo Mira Lati B, I won in a mirror, Kegbe Lati Ba won in a mirror, Kegbe Ati Ni Pataki. Ole dasi, ole dasi le tabi uh, ki o waninu egbe o shelu e ike yi. Egbe o wo, uh, egbe o wo ta, egbe o wo tabi, egbe minon, un abo ati o un ki o feron. Ki o ba jekwe ya wwen kwe se, ki akwa kon yi po ni yokuro. Uh, ki o ba jekwe ya kwe si, ki o ba jekwe ya wwen kwe se, si akwa kon yi ko ni yokuro inu awon agbara ti o ti o fun ni ti o fun ni ase ni pase ofin orilede yi lori olominira idibobo idibo orilede igbimo pelu awon eh egbe oselu eyi ti igbimo won ko gba idanimo ke ri beyin so let me just read that section to you in english i'm just reading to you straight what is what was said in yoruba now let's go and look at that and second, so of course, I'm going to just quickly go to that again to just highlight. So you see, I'm reading to you in Yoruba language. So we're going to look at section, that section 40 again, and read that particular section to make sure that I'm, you know, you can pick up exactly what I was doing and what I, why it's important for us to really um, encourage people to know this. So, sorry about that. 39. Okay, 39. Okay, so sorry, 40. So every person shall be entitled to, free, to freely associate with other persons, and in particular, um, he may form or belong to any political party or association, and, or in any association with, uh, freedom with, the, with, with in association for the protection of his interests. Um, so, yeah, that is what is talked about. He said it in Yoruba. We need you to know that. And begin to really participate in the process. So thank you very much for that. Let me do one more thing. Now we're going to listen to it from a fire school, from a quick government, quick time government. And let us listen. Um, and I will be bringing ideas and things as we go along. So um, let us listen to what he has to say. Um, I'm not going to play all the videos. I'm going to play key sections. And I need you to understand that the government and the others who are working for the government are trying to use psychology to put fear in the people so that they will not go out and protest. It is your right to protest, but you must do it peacefully. As stated here, it says here, this is a judgment of the court case back in 2003, uh, where the, uh, the judge, Chief Justice Kinre J, um, says, it is wrong for the counsel to the respondent IGP to insist that applicants must obtain, obtain police permit before they, are, they can gather uh, together for their peaceful protest. This is a 2003 ruling please you can all check that so i'm giving that to you as information now let us hear what fire show is going to say here people can go to the street but don't let those that were jack this protest turn it to where we do not the job of the government is to make sure we pick this up and not and to isolate those who are trying to disrupt this peaceful rally that's the job of the government because peaceful protest is part of our of the so-called democracy you have a right to peacefully protest um one second let me just make sure i get the pictures right here we go okay so uh, i will read this to you and i'll read the further section in the in the uh in the text that i saw back in i think it's back in 23 or 2020 2013. Yeah. so it says here this is part of the judge the, court, the, the, the decision of the court that shows that you have a right to peacefully protest. It says, it is wrong for the council to the respondent, in, in this case the respondent is in this uh, inspector general of police, to insist that the applicant must obtain police permit before they can gather together for peaceful protest. So the government, the police don't have the power to demand for a, a, a police permit to enable you to peacefully pr protest at, um, you know, at the, at the protest. Um, that's about to that's coming up. Um, 
one more thing. I'm going to go into this detail about this and we'll probably wrap it up. Let me hear what it's saying here again. So here we go. People will now imagine you want to take government from Ashura Joe. The perception now is there Let's that see. it's a coup. No, really? That is that what is going on? That is, not that is the perception everywhere. No. That now they are, they are giving an impression that they want to use this coup for military to come in. No, that's not true. If you are not hearing things, we are in the, on the ground. We are yes to the ground. And there is no government that will allow them to come and torpedo his own government. That is really... It is good that Ashwadi himself had admitted that protest is good, but the people protesting should remember the consequences if the way they are politicizing it. it. No, they are not. The people are saying they are focused on their concerns of lack of infrastructure, lack of health care, lack of, lack of funds, lack of um, um, government idea to create jobs, you know, the, the impoverishment of the people, you know, the palliative uh, fiasco and all of that. They are talking about that. They are not talking about um, anything else other than for their voices to be heard. And if you ban the protest, you are preventing the voice of the people to, have, to be heard and going against the, the words within the Constitution is what we're saying. So, let's carry on for a little bit more. In, in Kenya, Kenya is a small country. There is no Muslim, Christian. That is clearly not the case. They have Muslim and Christian in Kenya. And I have people who are, do, who are both Christian and Muslim in Kenya. This is the way to believe. We shouldn't accept that. The people must be able to think for themselves and make decisions for themselves. That is what democracy, the so-called Western democracy is about. If that is not happening, then we are not a democracy. And we shouldn't, again, all we're saying is it has to be peaceful protest. So you saw when I put this up, it talks about that it is wrong for the council to be respondent, in this case, the respondent being IGP, to insist that the applicant must obtain police permit before they can gather together for their peaceful protest. So a lot of the protest is going to be people gathering together on the peaceful basis and protesting to make the government know their how that they are being unfairly treated and they, they have a huge discomfort due to the poor economic situation in which the country is in now and that was can be traced back to the previous government and the one before and all of that this is now we are calling for accountability from those who were left to serve we the people because in the end we are the sovereign is important to understand that but let's carry on and hear what he's saying a few more then i'll wrap on and hear hey that go to me there there's no north south that go to me if people are caught copying Kenya, that's they must be careful. You see, they're trying to just scare monger. That's not right. Um, that, that, and that, I, uh, politicians should not do that. We support the fact that there's local autonomy, autonomy that um, Zinumbu has put in place. Fantastic. Good idea. But at the same time, the concerns of the people must be heard and they have the right to peacefully protest. We don't want any um, people who have been sent by some politicians to come and disrupt the, 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 the protest and then use that as grounds in which to actually prevent the right people, the generality of the people who want to peacefully protest, to deny them that right as sovereigns to exercise their sovereignty and make changes to the infrastructure that is actually, that's meant to serve them in, in a much better way. Okay, so let's hasten for a bit more anyway. Then a lot of people having business we call it watch out before they start looting. It happened in South Africa before. The consequences of a selling. The problem is, once again, all of those things, we know that this is part of the playbook of the government in some ways. This is not acceptable. The people have a right to peacefully protest, as I stated, Section 39, Section 40, and then to watch a lot of that, Section 14.2 and 14.2c are the real powers that the people possess as sovereigns, and they can use it to demand for questions from those they elect into office, which we've talked about. Okay. So now we're going to go and look at the final figure. I listen to the most. Celebrated, and... celebrated issues like this, they end up in people begin, beginning to imagine that there's a coup. Or they want... You see, I, I don't, we shouldn't entertain that uh, at all. Um, nobody, people have a right to peaceful protest. And what the government should do is to rapidly do a, a, a recce of the, uh, and, and actually, the government should know before any before anybody else says about what is about to happen and not for some privileged few. So I don't believe that this is about, um, you know, what it talks about. It's not the case. But nonetheless, we need to exercise our powers and begin to hold our governance to account. Okay, so now let's do the second part. I'll listen a bit more than probably wrap up. I'm not going to... want to play a coup, 
and there's no leader that will avoid allow himself. You see, they're not allowing people's voices to be heard because they're saying no, it's too dangerous. That's not right. A peaceful protest, in fact, the government should make sure that they provide um, for protection for the peaceful protest on ground in you know whatever given country that protest is, i.e. in this case. So that is, they should be protecting the citizens who are peacefully protesting and not saying somebody's going to disrupt them. And they, they, in fact, they should be watching and prevent anybody who's trying to railroad that, that peaceful rally to, you know, that you should, they should arrest them so that they don't interfere in it and come and say, look, uh, the, 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 the peaceful rally is not working because some are breaking the law. Some people can and, will, and have been in peaceful protests and we need to watch out for that as I speak. Okay, so let's listen a bit more then probably move on. Is, is leadership to be taken by force? I mean, if there are cool mongers... Nobody is asking for anything to be taken by force, respectfully, uh, Governor Farris is. Nobody. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop there. I don't want to read that now because it's actually... I find it difficult to continue to read that, knowing fully well what, you know, that we have right and that and all of this that they're doing is not allow us to actually exercise that right and we need to exercise it. Okay, let me do this quickly, right quick. Um, there. Okay. So I want to show you something before we have to wrap up. So this is the case I was referring to. This is the case I was referring to. Uh, fundamental rights of Nigerians to freedom. Okay, so let's read this to you. So you can see it says here, uh, Femi Falano, uh, dated 21st of May 2023, uh, 2003, all, night, all national people party had requested the Inspector General of Police and uh, to issue um, police permits for its members to hold a unity rally throughout the country to protest the rigging of the 2003 elections. And the request was refused by the police without any reason. AMP decided to hold the rallies. The first rally, which held in Kano 22nd September, was attended by General Mahamud um, uh, you know, together with other and with other leaders of AMPP, and was violently dis disrupted by the police on the ground that the organization had not obtained a police permit. Now, when they went to court, this is very important to understand. This is where it's important. AMPP and other police deputies uh, instructed um, our law firm, which is uh, Federal Police of Nigeria, Femi Falano, the firm, to uh, challenge the constitutional validity of the poli uh, police permit rallies in Nigeria. Um, the suit filed by the, in the federal court at the um, uh, court, it was um, contended, contend contended that provisions of the public um, order act requiring the police um, to require people um, uh, requiring permits for the for the rallies were in conflict with the fundamental human rights of Nigerians to freedom of assembly and freedom of expression. So when they're talking about fear and everything, is they're trying to create fear that something is going to wrong, go yeah. so that you forget actually by to exercise your powers of sovereignty. I'm here to tell you we must collectively exercise our powers of sovereignty, and that is the way forward. Um, so um, in defending the action, the court counsel will maintain that the rally was stopped because it was not authorized by the Inspector General of Police. Uh, in fact, here we go. So now here's the thing I need you to focus on. Um, in dismissing, sorry, in dismissing the violation, that violation, uh, sorry. In dismissing the defense um, of the police trial judge, um, Chile J held that the police permit was con inconsistent with Constitution section 39 and 40 of the Constitution and the Constitution and Article 11 of the African Charter on Human Rights and People's Rights, AC, CAP, AA9, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria. Um, so we're going to read this to you now. I'm going to read this section to you, which you saw. So it says here, even though the trial uh, confirms the governor of each state was appropriately um, was, appro was the appropriate authority to grant permits under the um, act. Under the act, the trial did not hesitate to declare the illegal to declare illegal and unconstitutional, unconstitutional the provisions of the Public Order Act, which require permits for public meetings and rallies. Consequently, the court proceeded to grant an order of perpetuity in. Ju in uh, Perpetual injunction, restraining defend defendant, inspector general of police, whether by himself, uh, his agents, private privies, and servants, from further preventing plaintiffs and other exaggerated uh, um, 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 uh, uh, citizens of Nigeria from organizing um, and co convening peaceful assemblies, meetings, and rallies upon um, 
uh, rallies against unpopular government uh, measures and policy policies uh, policies. So you can see now this is very very involved. You have that power. Let me just scroll up. I want you to see the big harvest there. Okay, I, you you get the picture anyway. Um, I'll see if I can put the link up in the broadcast as well. But you get the picture of this is what needs to happen. Um, you have the right to peacefully protest in a rally, and that will invite you to confidently ex exercise those powers. And that's why we brought the show tonight. Um, I don't think I want to listen to any more than that. The Femi Fires and uh, um, Ayo Fayoshi is saying, or others. Uh, what we need to do is empower people to know that they have the power to hold their government to account and that they say and thus being able to ensure that uh, you know they are participating in the uh, uh, in their government so i hope that answers the question i wanted to just talk about that so that we will know that we possess the power to hold our government to account that we must start using it and um, i've also i've quoted section 14 2 a 14 c section 39 section 40 and of course i've talked about this ruling by the court which supersedes everything and it's binding um, very, very important that we understand that. So uh, with that said, um, I want to thank everybody um, that has been listening thus far. Please share this broadcast and let us reach more people. Subscribe to Susan Awards on YouTube. Hit the subscription button and give us updates. We will let you know when we get updates. We will let you know when we get updates. Um, so this is very, very important. Uh, please subscribe to us. Hit the notification button. Of course, give us thumbs up to reach more people. And we welcome donations in the work we are doing. We want to make sure that all 54 African countries have their constitution in all the local languages. It is a must, it's a task that we must all take on. So in that to that end, any funds that we raise and everything else will be plowed into trying to make sure that we provide the stakeholders who are going to go into those communities with their um, infrastructure and things that they can use, not infrastructure, with, um, with the paperwork and the training they will need in to go into the communities and teach people about their constitution in the local language so that they can begin to hold their government to account and indeed critically participate in that process of government. Voting is just a tick box exercise. It's not about participating in government. Participation in government is when you now actually look at the situation and you go, okay, this needs to be fixed and you begin to actually, um, once you're taught, you use the power to be able to participate and hold the government to account. And that is what we need to happen. So um, I guess what I'm doing, I'm going to bring this to an end now. I will share the broadcast. Please do share. Um, we're hearing one more thing. I'm hearing that Ghana is trying a protest again themselves, and I'll come and talk about that uh, later on, if not tonight, but tomorrow morning. And it's very important that we support that. Um, so all I will just say is that you have the right to peacefully protest. Uh, do not, we, we don't condone any violence. We just want you to know that uh, we, as, he, as we are here, we have the right to peacefully protest, and that there's nothing wrong. And nobody should, uh, nobody should try to take that away from the people through fear, and that's not right. Again, we can we congratulate uh, President Tinubu, uh, Ahmed Tinubu, for ensuring that um, you know local government autonomy is now in place. So the funds that the governors have been sitting on, those are you have countless governors have sat on, sat on. They should be, they must be made accountable. And now that we have the the INEC reviewing the, a new commission for. Uh, I make uh, uh, elections for the position of the um, um, in for the positions in the local government area and all of that uh, is of immense importance. So these are the kind of things that we want to to happen because, as we said before, the governors um, they were all sitting on that money and they only appointed you know people that they knew they didn't there was no demo de um, democratic process and that again allowed for the uh, uh, the, 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 the unending corruption that's going on. But we want to put a stop to that. Anyway, let's have your thoughts. What are your thoughts on the, what are your thoughts on this? You're of course watching Susan Newa, the platform where we speak to fire. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the notification button, give us thumbs up, and let us have your comments as well. It's very, very important. I need you to know that you have the power to peacefully protest, and that is something that even the government cannot take away from you. So you see that. So please take a screenshot of what you see on the screen and share it among family and friends. It's really important we begin to take control. Um, you know, uh, not not only take control but participate in our government and be able to make get the best for ourselves as as sovereigns in our own um i'll stop there for now thank you very much uh, you've been listening to susan Ewa, the platform where we speak with fire we welcome your comment your, your, your comments and, and, and suggestions and please don't forget to we, we we welcome super chats and we have a bank account and if you can help us in any way so that we can focus on doing this work on a grant on a wider scale to to in positively impact over 100 and uh, 220 million um, uh, Africans, Nigerians, and even more still across the whole of Africa. There are 1.4 billion people. It's time we change the mindset by knowing our rights and 
how to exercise those rights and complying, you know, with the rule of law, you know, at the same time. But for now, I want to thank you all. You've been listening to Susan Ewa, the platform where we speak with uh, about these things. Please do share, share, and share. Um, thank you. Uh, bye for now. Bye for now.